Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppage today, joined by Leslie, the Sultan of Cinco's. Yes, reviewing another Amar Barkus beer, a recently released beer from them. And this is their new India Pale Lager, Pink Farts and Unicorns. Oh, yeah. And it's got a silly story about unicorns on the back. Uh, <laughs> they always have the weirdest story, Amar, but uh, they're fun. So this uh, New England, or New England, why did I say New England? There's nothing to do with New England, but this India Pale Lager, it's dry hopped and it's been hopped with Centennial, Cascade, Citra, and Amarillo. They they use US ale yeast, it says, but then I guess it isn't a lager, is it? Maybe that's just a typo. Uh, and then they use Pilsen malt and hops. 4.6%, uh, so not super strong. And we got it poured not much head on my glass. Not a mine. Uh, a, a little more. But you can generate some pretty easily. It's kind of like with most lagers, it's a bit fizzy the head. But there is some at least. Mine is quite hazy. Oh, well, yours is yeah. Hazy. Like a lightly <coughs> hazy golden yellow color, I'd say. Yeah. White head. Check out the aroma. Hmm? Uh, not crazy mm. intensely hoppy, but it's definitely got like citrus. Uh, there's a lot of fruits in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it definitely it's much more like hoppy than your average lager or pilsner, for, for example. Very citrusy, actually. Yeah. Actually, yeah. And it has some like crisp. Pilsner malt aromas as well. It's a little bit a little sour, sourness to it. Yeah, like a tart, tart fruitiness, which I think yeah. is from the hops. Oh, the wind is very annoying today. Hopefully, it's not too bad on the camera because I didn't put the dead cat on. Uh, but yeah, citrus, lemon, lime, or something like that. Like a, some, can some, some kind of kiwi fruit. Uh, yeah, I can see that with the tartness, yeah. like slightly kiwi esque. <clears throat> Fruitiness. Smells pretty nice. Mm. Good taste. Very nice. Cheers. Cheers. Very refreshing. Yeah. Very bitter. Yeah, more bitter than I expected mm. too. Yeah. But it's also like India Pale Lager, so it's meshing up Pilsner and IP. Uh, Pilsner, Pilsner, yeah, or Lager beer. Not very IPA. fruity, actually. Uh, no, the aroma. Bitterness, but the aroma in more, a good way. More bitterness and grapefruit and grassy. It's not as citrusy. Ah, there's a fly in my beer. Oh, wait. Well, extra protein. I can't really get it out. <laughs> it's a very light beer. Actually, yeah. um... Ah, there we go. Light, citrusy, grapefruity. It has a bit of a, like, a green hop matter thing, like a pellet hop bitterness flavor. Uh, and you can't uh, taste any alcohol at all, but uh, again, 4.6%, so that's very, obvious. Very but, crisp, but very refreshing. Very nice, light summer beer, uh, yeah. I guess. Uh, slight sweet malt flavor to it as well. Uh... With that kind of crisp malt flavor as well, the crisp crispness of a, like a, a lager, <coughs> and then you have that kind of grapefruit, green herbaceous kind of grassy hop flavor, yeah. which is it's actually quite like grassy and green the hop flavor. I think. Yeah, it is. What kind of hop is, hops is it? Um, and it's very bitter. Um, Centennial, Cascade, Citra, and Amarillo, so hmm. all American hops. Uh, Kind of like a pithy, dry citrus I, I, flavor too. I like this very much actually. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's <clears throat> as good as like their no rice and curry, which is also India Pale Lager. Uh, but I That's think it's a nice beer. Yeah, that one is really nice. But, uh, but I don't think they made it this year actually. This one came out instead. But still a very nice Amma beer. Amma is doing some great stuff. They made it, it just moved into a new facility as well uh, over in, in Copenhagen or in Amma. Uh, they also released Double Black Mash, which I think I'll review at some point as well. I haven't gotten it yet. But uh, for me, rating-wise, I think this is like a, an 87 or so. Straight out 90 for me. <coughs> for me, it's not completely up in the 90s because of that kind of bitter green malt flavor, or green hop flavor. But other than that, it's a very nice India Pale Lager. Very refreshing. Perfect for the spring weather that's starting to arrive yeah. in Denmark. Like yesterday, we had 23 degrees, which is pretty crazy. Maybe, actually, I, uh, it is the weather uh, that... Makes me want to drink a lot more of this beer because yeah. I can see myself in my, in my garden with this beer on a regular Monday night or something like that. I think it's very, very good for what it's supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, straight out 90 for me. And very, very nice good. and sessionable as well. Yeah. So if you guys had a chance yeah, to try... but yeah. amazing. Uh, very good. Very nice. Yeah. So yeah, guys, if you had the chance to try the Amar Boku's Pink Farts and Unicorns Dry Hop India Pale Lager, well, let us know what you thought of it. And uh, yeah, as always, once you comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.